Let me just add some water to that. Getting ready to make some almond milk. I already have soaked my almonds here. That's walnuts for a recipe later on. I'm um, gonna go ahead and just pour these into this blender. Let's see, I already had them soaking and I'm going to add some water to that. I'm gonna also add some dates for sweetness. Some people put, um, these are already pitted, so, well, no, they're not. Just <laughs> going to take the seed out right there, see? Put that in there. It's very soft, so I'm gonna do two. Yeah, take the seed out for the sweetness, and we're just gonna go ahead on and blend this. Some people put vanilla, but I'm going to do that. Oh, I tried to blend all on Tiffany. So here we go. glass right here. So now moving along, I know some guys have been asking me about uh, the recipes I've been doing and suggested that I post my recipes or even do some videos on how I prepared my food. So here I am trying to make, um, it was Taco Tuesday night, so instead of doing the whole ground beef or ground turkey or anything like that, we're going to do it, you guess it the plant-based style so in that bowl you see where well, the glass bowl you see i have the walnuts uh soaking that is going to be like uh, my ground beef and in the bowl i'm doing um right now i'm doing like guacamole i have some avocados in there you saw me chop up some tomatoes uh here i put a little cilantro in there and red onion and what else what else 
some lime juice. And I normally put like, uh, I think I did garlic, if I'm not mistaken. But again, I'm doing everything plant-based. So this is my take on my Taco Tuesday. The only thing that I did use um, for this dish for my kids, I should say, were the taco shells. I bought those. But for me, I just did me a taco salad. So you're going to see how I prepare my meal. But this is what I did. So like I said, I'm making the guacamole. It's another topping for our tacos instead of doing the sour cream. So... Yeah, I add some black pepper as well. So you can pretty much add the seasonings that you like to taste. I just normally do black peppers, uh, Himalaya salt. Uh, what is it? You, you'll see. <laughs> it's so neat for me to name everything on here. But I am going to try to list the ingredients as well in the description box. But um, I try to do step by step on the video to show you because i'm not too big on measurements so i know people have asked for a recipe but i don't do measurements i'm kind of like i eyeball things so i'm sorry you go get it <laughs> get it how, how it is with me over here so okay i did the lemon juice for the guacamole so that's what you see me juicing some lemon because everything like i said is fresh i don't do i don't do the bottle juice or anything like that so i try to do as much fresh ingredients that i can and i'm not gonna lie it honestly it tastes much better when it's fresh so i know it could be a little expensive but fresh is best so here's the guacamole that i did i only did a little bit of it and it was really good <laughs> yes ma'am so then we're gonna move on over to uh, pico de gallo at one um, time I didn't even care for this my daughter mostly eat it but you know I've been on this plant based journey trust me a lot of things has been changing so it's pretty much the same ingredients that you would use for guacamole except you don't use the avocado uh, the pico de gallo is tomato red onions cilantro uh, fresh garlic and um I put jalapeno peppers in mine. So I take like one pepper and chop it up and put it in there. But I do remove the seeds because, you, as you know, that's where the spice is at. So, yes. So I went ahead, like I said, and just did the pico de gallo. So that's why I'm kind of chopping on the same chopping board. So don't come for me because it's pretty much the same ingredients that I just used for the guacamole. So that's why. And, um... The only thing I can honestly say about plant-based eating, um, this is not raw eating, not raw vegan, this is plant-based. Um, to stay ahead of it, to make it easier for you, prep, 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 prep. I cannot stress that enough. When you prep your food, it is much easier because when you have to get in there and do everything, chop up this and chop up that, and if you are hungry, it's like, you know what, forget it. Let me just grab the easiest thing I can find and go with the flow, and that's how you mess up. So, if you're someone that's thinking about plant-based, uh, I don't even want to say the word uh, diet. I want to say journey, lifestyle change, whatever. I will always stress to meal prep. Prep your veggies, those things like that, because it's very tedious. And... To me, when I eat with my eyes, like most people, if you see it and it's already prepared, it will make you want to grab it more versus looking at it like, oh my God, now I got to chop up all this, you know what, it ain't going to happen. Especially you tired, you trying to work out and stuff, ain't nobody got time for all that. <laughs> so that's why, you know, this, to me, this was the most stressful part or long part of the process was chopping all this stuff up but um i i'm i must say like someone asked me uh how's the journey going so far is i love it um sleep better uh, uh the mental clarity is better um you know you see changes in your skin of course you see breakouts and stuff because it's a lot of things that your body is eliminating these foods are helping you to eliminate so much 
and so don't be alone by that um you will experience weight loss i can't say that you're going to have energy because before this i wouldn't have stood up here and chopped up all this stuff right before i was getting ready to head out the door or whatever so that wouldn't happen so energy i must say is through the roof um it's just it's, it's a lifestyle yes it's it trust me it's a lifestyle change that you are going to appreciate so don't knock it till you try it <laughs> but yeah so here i am like i said chopping up some red onion to put in there and now i'm doing some fresh garlic and that's another thing uh when you are eating uh this this plant-based stuff your whole palate it, to me, it changes. Like, you appreciate the food for what it is. And then if you try to eat something that's processed, like, I, girl, let me tell you something. I, I, ain't, I ain't all the way there. I'm trying. But temptations are there. I went in the store and saw they had a new Kellogg cereal called um, Strawberry Cheesecake. And anybody that know me know I love strawberry anything. So I was like, ooh, let me get this. I'm not eating no meat enough, but let me try this. Tried it, and when I tell you, it was not. I, I don't want to say it was nasty, but it just wasn't It wasn't for me. It tastes artificial. It just tastes like it was full of some type of chemical. It just was not giving me the rich cheesecake or strawberry flavor. It just was giving me processed uh chemical dye it, it it was giving me all of those things and i said wow like probably before i even did this whole plant-based thing that cereal probably would have been amazing to me so i noticed certain things like that it tastes off it tastes just it just tastes nasty to me i'm sorry i wasn't trying to say that word but it does <laughs> so you you you'll see if you try you'll see it tastes buzz totally change and you tend to appreciate the more fresher food so that was the last thing i put in there was um a jalapeno pepper as you see i am removing the seeds because when i open this bad boy or when i tell you you could smell the pepper and i said oh no oh no i ain't doing it to myself <laughs> that's another thing you know had to, had to disclose all of the information i'm sorry but that plan based how you baby will have you going to the bathroom not like no uh crazy explosion type of thing no i mean you are very regular so i was not trying to add no doggone spicy nothing on top of that so that's why i was like no let me take these seeds out of here so i'm uh juicing the lime so that's the only difference with the guacamole i put lemon juice um and then the pico de gallo i do lime juice so that's pretty much it right there. You know, you can season it up if you want with salt and pepper if that's to your liking. But this is this is it. Uh, stir it up and let it sit for a while. Let all that marinate and you have your pico de gallo. It's good. I really like it. You put it on top of salads, nachos, tacos. Psh, my daughter put it on anything. <laughs> Any and everything. So that is it. I want to add me a few more red onions because we love red onions so there you have it and i hope you guys will give these recipes a try and uh let me know let me know um if you liked it or not so now we're going to go ahead on and start preparing yeah. our like pepper, taco meat <laughs> smoke it. which is and mushroom and powder, mixture onion powder, and we add seasonings to it healthy. And everything, so all of those seasons you saw me lay out back there, um, that goes along with this is the black pepper, sun dried tomatoes, uh, we do paprika, uh, coconut aminos, garlic powder, onion powder, hemp seeds, all of that that's in that bowl right there, and nutritional yeast as well. And of course, your salt and pepper to taste. So, those are the things that goes into the walnut uh, meat mixture. So, after I had the walnuts soaking, I soaked them for about maybe seven hours, I want to say. Next time, I think I will do it overnight 
So I'm, I don't have a food processor, so I was trying to do everything in my blender, which it took a little while. So I will suggest if you do this, do a um, food processor. I think that process will make it much easier. Um, so I just added those things to the blender. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, blended that up. So I add onion, um, the sun-dried tomatoes, and the oil from the sun-dried tomatoes along with that uh, coconut aminos to give it a little liquid to kind of bind that together. So I just did like, I used a post button. And then I went ahead with my uh, spoon to try to move it around. So, it, like I said, it was a process. Like, do it a little bit, move it around, do it a little more, move it around. So, to get this consistency right here, as you see, it looks like um, what I went ahead and did at that moment. Then was put in the skillet with a very olive. little bit of olive oil. And well, not to me, but some of the seasoning that we use. And, you know, we're going to have a little bit of olive oil. And as you see, it resembles yes, yes, yes. the ground meat. Like, I promise you, it resembles the ground meat. And there you go, cook it down. Now, and there you have it, our olive. taco meat. Yes, it is walnuts Apple and mushrooms sweet. that make Which this, is. and it is good. If I got my picky eater, my son to eat it, and he is a straight walnuts meat eater. He's That's been doing a plant based for the last few days, owl. and he owl. ate it. It was like for seconds, and he had to end up doing it again the next day. Well, not this process. I had some left over, and he ate it again the next day. So it's good. Give it a try. Yes, and this yes, is my yes. salad that I went ahead and showed at the end. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know if you try it out. And if you're new, welcome. I hope you will join us. And if you are returning, thank you for always supporting your girl. And don't forget, like I say, give me the thumbs up on this if you like it. Until next time, bye.